Water availability is the fact that most influences production levels in Western Australia. Two of the factors that define how much water is available to our plants are the clay content and the organic matter content. As the clay content in soil decreases, the relative importance of the organic matter increases in terms of being able to hold and supply that water to the crops. So behind me we have a relatively simple demonstration where we have a range of soils with increasing amounts of organic matter contained within the cylinders. We're going to add some water to those cylinders and measure how much that soil and organic matter mix will hold. This is a very simple visual of the change in water holding capacity associated with soils which have been amended with different amounts of organic matter. So we've started with the same volume of soil or soil plus organic matter and we're now adding water to those soils to see how much water will be used in terms of filling that soil or soil plus organic matter to capacity. And we know it's at capacity when the water reaches the surface of that column. Our expectation would be that by increasing the amount of soil organic matter in a soil, we can hold more water. So for every 1% increase in carbon, that's a measure of organic matter, we would expect there to be a change of between two and five millimetres in stored water available. Here we can see with our sand, which is low in organic matter content, we've used a smaller amount of water in terms of filling it up to its surface. Where we've added organic matter to 5%, we've used approximately 20 millimetres more water in filling it to its surface. And where we have the organic matter, we've used 100 millimetres in addition to our plain soils, which has not been amended with organic matter. Organic matter is very slow to build up in soils, and in fact it's largely incremental, so small change over long periods of time. It's generally a decadal change and isn't going to happen overnight. 